Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you have all had a really good week. Um, so I am currently away. I've pre-recorded this so that you guys have got something whilst I've, I've gone away. I'm in London at the Tarot Conference. Um, so if you need me, all the information is on the website. I'll reply to all my emails on return. If you make any bookings whilst I am currently not here, um, you'll get confirmation from PayPal and then I'll confirm when I get back and I'll give you that estimated time that you will get your reading back to you. Uh, same with single questions. If you've booked a single question, I'm sorry you can't have it in the 24, 48 hour normal turnaround, but you will get it once I return to normality. And it's most likely, I'm gonna be starting work again next Wednesday, uh, Wednesday the 16th, I think it is. I'm gonna be starting work then. So what we're gonna to do today is we're just gonna have a look at your energy, the current energy between you and your person and where the energy is going between the two of you, what's actually gonna happen between the two of you. So this is deck number one and this is deck number two. Let's turn that the right way around because we don't want anything dodgy coming through. Debt number one and debt number two. So have a think about you. Have a think about your person. Uh, go to where your heart-centered energy is pulling you. So where your heart chakra is driving you. Debt number one, debt number two. We've gone for green decks. We've gone for the nature side of things today. It feels like a day that we need all need a bit of grounding going on. So number one, number two, pick your deck. And as always, as you know, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, go into all your energy, go into all your people's energy, pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, remember it for a later date or it's possible that you're not part of that strongest mutual energy between everyone else. So you can just drop me a message, drop me an email if you need your individual readings or plans or anything doing. Okay, let's go. Get number one's energy. Can you guys think about your person? Let's get into the person's mutual energy. And let's get into the, your people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. And then we will get going. Um, I've got Dancing in the Dark coming by Bruce Springsteen coming through my right ear. Um, it feels like everything's a little bit monotonous at this moment in time and none of you, you, neither of you really know what direction it's going in and what's actually happening and you feel like you're kind of dancing in this dark, dancing in the dark. In dancing in the dark, I'm started by a... Yeah, I'm a terrible singer. Deck number one. Okay, can you tell me what the current energy is between, uh, between the people watching and their people? What is the current energy between them both? all between them all i just got cheyenne by jason derulo derulo jason jason derulo i never meant to fall in love Get number one collectives okay and can you tell me where it is going that's a good start where is this going between them and their people Where is it going? Four, five, six. Okay, so again, as you know, works on the strongest energy between you all. All right, so what's currently happening with you and your person is you're at this bit of a stalemate at this moment in time. Neither of you are really making any kind of advances towards one another. Um, you're feeling a little bit stuck. You're feeling a little bit like, what is actually happening? Nothing's moving forward. Uh, nothing, you're blowing hot and cold, or you haven't messaged me, or nothing's really actually happening, or we are talking, but we're not making any headway. So it feels that like there's a little bit of a stagnant energy currently happening between the two of you. They are on self-protect at the moment they don't want to be coming over as that kind of vulnerability within them so some of your people have pushed you away because they don't want to be coming over as vulnerable um they are gathering their strength at this moment in time and you are gathering your strength as well now if you guys are in contact what's happening here is if your person's blowing a little bit hot and cold of you again it's that level of vulnerability they don't want to come over um 
they've been through a lot, you know, and they hide away from their emotions. And that sometimes, again, this is why we say sexual energy comes to the forefront of the mind. They hide away from emotions. They, they choose not to act on emotions. Um, and they go into this little self-protect to protect this, this, again, this vulnerability around them. So your person is currently protecting themselves from the situation because they don't want to get hurt. And you guys are kind of thinking, well, you, would you just hurry up? Nothing's really happening here. You either want me or you don't want me. Make a chance, you, make a choice. You're driving me insane. Um, I could do with knowing what's actually happening. So that is where your current energy is. It's a little bit stagnant. There's also a bit of betrayal going on over, not betrayal, but there's feel, a feeling of betrayal uh, that's happening. You're feeling as if your person has really, really let you down. Um, and again, part of that is because they've been a bit ignorant to, your, to you and your needs and your emotions and what you want and how you feel they've just pretended that there isn't really anything going on and they've got this element of denial there um, and also this is where deception comes in because they're kind of lying to themselves about how they actually feel about you so we've got the stagnant energy that they're not making moves because they don't want to be vulnerable we've got the fact that there's a little bit of betrayal that they're in denial about their emotions and um, that you're trying to offer them an olive branch or you've tried to offer them an olive branch and nothing has really come from it and you're just feeling a little bit fed up with the situation and that and uh, they're thinking oh well, I don't really know what to do about it and so the energies become quite stagnant now there seems to be an element of jealousy going on as well in deck number one um, it's like you guys have got a chance to come together, but you're at this loggerheads at the moment. No, again, nothing is really happening. Um, now, something has got to happen for this situation to either move in your favour or move away from your favour. Because at the moment, it's like the door has still been left open, but nothing is progressing and you guys don't really know what to do about the situation. Uh, so this is that's where your current energy is. It's this little bit of jealousy happening. This will be fears as well, fear-based energy of um, is anything going to happen? Are they actually interested? Are they seeing other people? Or if you're third party and they're with someone else, is anything actually going to happen? Uh, we're not in communication. We are in communication. If they're just going to keep trying to protect themselves, what's actually going to happen here? Because they're not telling me how they feel. They're treating me a little bit rubbish, Ali. I don't really know what to do. That's your perspective on it. Your person's perspective on it is, um, if I give away too much too soon, I'm going to put end up, end up putting myself into a situation that I'm not 100% clear on. Um, I've got to kind of gather my strength a little bit. I'm a bit unsure about what's actually happening here. Um, I have got underlying feeling, feelings of it all, but I'm just, again, on self-protect. I'm not letting you into my energy uh, because you, I don't feel that I'm ready to tell you what's actually going on in my heart and in my mind. Um, I know that we've got to break the cycle. I know that we've got to break a chain here, but I don't know how to go about it so I'm just going to do nothing I'll keep the door open for you um, and when I'm ready I will make a choice on it and that's the current energies between you two there is an element of mirroring going on here especially with regard to jealousy or insecurity maybe more than jealousy and um, there's that worry that are they seeing other people what's actually happening if they're with someone else what's happening between the two of them and from their perspective they're thinking if you guys aren't in contact or even if you are in contact and it's sporadic what are you actually doing because you can tell me anything you want um, but your actions will prove it and your people are definite action people they need actions not words um, and that is basically where your current energy is so it's a little bit mixed up it's a little bit stagnant it's a little bit uncertain um, it's a little bit I'm kind of really pissed off and fed up here we need to make some moves one way or another and your person just pressing pause on it okay that's the current energy between you and them and that's why we're getting that dancing in the dark song um and Cheyenne you know Cheyenne is a song by Jason Derulo about a guy that meets up a, meets up with a girl for a bit of fun and then he falls in love with her um, and it's that kind of energy as well your person doesn't know how to handle the situation they want to make these moves there's my dog where is she there she is uh, they want to make choices and decisions about it, but they've been overwhelmed by the emotions. And like that song says, I never meant to fall in love. I didn't expect this to happen. So at the moment, not this bit's not in the song. At the moment, I'm just going to hide away from my emotions and my feelings. So that 
is that yours and their current energy. Now where this is heading is we have a period of stagnation as we already know because a lot of you are already there. Now what's going to happen with the death card next to this stagnation is this period of being stagnant is going to come to an end. Um, your person is floated away from their problems, they're going to come back into your life or make moves towards you, there's going to be um, chances of things progressing between the two of you. Now it's going to be up to you guys if this is something that you want to progress with as the time happens, um, it's going to be down to you if you feel that you want this to go in the right direction, but you, or, or in a any in any direction but it's going to be down to you lot watching to make a choice because at the moment your person is in control of the situation now what's going to happen as the time progresses and the future happens is that you are going to be standing in your power you are the ones that are going to be in control of it um, and it's going to be shifting into your favor and when this death card and this end of stagnation happens it's going to be down to you about what it is you want your person is going to come towards you and make offers and um, most likely that they're going to say over here we've got the Ace of Cups and the Empress. I can see that we've got a future together. I can see that we could be really, really good together. Um, let's give it a go. This period of, of everything kind of not really going anywhere will close. You've got the options of them coming in, offering you these new beginnings, and it's gonna be down to you whether you guys take it or not. Now your timing for this from here, to here is roughly for, for the majority of you about two to three months now you have to remember with timings when I give timings they're right here right now as I do your cards and they can change because people have got free will um, so if you want your individual timings we can do it over email we can do it in private readings we can do it single question uh, they're eleven dollars eleven if you want your individual timings but your collective timing for this movement towards you is two to three months so where are we now? October, November, December, probably in about the new year. Some of you will get new year, happy Christmas messages. Um, some of you won't, but the majority of you, these offers are going to be coming in as the new year starts and your person has this reality check and this wake up call and has realized that they don't want to be dancing in the dark anymore and, and, and coming back to face everything that they have left behind. Um, or face what they've actually been doing. Part of the other reason why they are running away and they're stagnant from this is because they don't actually want to fess up to how they've, how they've handled the situation. They feel quite bad about it. They feel that they didn't handle the situation in the best way with you and they could have done a lot more. Um, they haven't told you specifically what's been going on in their heart and in their head. And if they have told you, it, some of it has come over, um, you know, in the sense of denial, that we've got at the start some of it has come over quite snappy or rude or they've said stuff that they didn't actually mean and that's because they've been in denial they haven't wanted to address these feelings because they haven't wanted to be vulnerable so your person's actually been a little bit selfish on the whole thing which has ended up hurting you and and also made you feel like actually you know what something's got to shift here and whilst you are waiting for this to happen there isn't going to be any movement so Remember for situations to move forward, uh, you have to release, there's a universal law about releasing energy and I talk about it all the time. When I say release, I don't mean you have to completely move on and forget the situation. I mean you just have to go, okay universe, I surrender it to you, I'm okay with whatever outcome is going to happen and through that, that is when your person will come back to you. It's kind of like that paradigm isn't it you know it's a paradigm of you'll have all had it when you've wanted something so badly and then you eventually give up on it and when you give up you surrender it and it comes to you and that is the energy here so just try relax a little bit more I know that sounds a bit contradictory but if you're trying to control the situation and longing and yearning and wanting it now you're not giving chance for the universe to do its job for you so surrender the energy over let the universe do its job this period of stagnation will then come to an end your person will make offers with you you've got a chance of a new strong future with them um, and it will be up to you watching if that is what you want Okay, it's going to come down to you. You will have that choice. Now, whether they've pissed you off or they've been an idiot or you don't really know what you're going to want at that point in time, you deal with it then. But for now, um, try to do some release work on the situation, anything to release it. Uh, go on YouTube, go on Google, type, how do I release situations? How do I surrender situations? I'd sit here talking about it, but we'll, go, we'll be going on for another half hour. Try and surrender the situation. Be in an allowance that your person hasn't meant to be a dickhead. Sorry, 
about my language, hasn't meant to be a dickhead, they've just been trying to protect their vulnerability and protect themselves from being hurt. As the future steps in, it's the end of this stagnation and that's where these offers are going to come in and they are going to be romantic based rather than sexual energy for deck number one. It's going to be like, I realised I missed you, I realised I love you, can we please try again? But it's got to come to a close. It's got to, where you are at the moment, it's not going to work because it's too stagnant, it's too nothing's happening or you're hot and cold and you guys watching it you know you're feeling like there's an element of them not giving you what you need and you don't you don't need what you're getting at this moment in time so that stagnation will come to a close and that is when they'll make these moves towards you okay and make these heart-centered energy offers that's step number one so it's not all the hope is lost it's just uh, not yet really two to three months isn't isn't too far away really it'll go quick um jealousy yeah, but there is there is strong hope over here. There's a there's a good movement coming in with heart centered energy and giving birth to dreams. So the outcome of it all is that it's it's gonna work out in your favour. But you've just got to get into that place first. And the way you'll get into that place is by surrendering it. Let the universe do its job. Let your person get on with it. It's that saying, isn't it? Give them enough rope, let them hang themselves. Let them get on with it. They will come back to you when they're ready with this heart-centered offer and it'll be down to you what it is that you choose but the current energy between the two of you is just stagnant really stagnant betrayal or, or denial betrayal uh loss your you guys are feeling lost um fed up annoyed they're not actually doing anything something's got to shift something's got to move they're protecting their vulnerability jealousy yada 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 that's where you are but it's heading in the right direction in the next few months okay let's do deck number two 1556 okay beauty so as you know this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all okay think about your person and we get into their person's thoughts feelings energy and emotions and thought processes um we've got <clears throat> My guide stepping really close into my energy. I always cough when he comes really close. He goes into my energy. It's because I can do trance as well. Because I do a trance mediumship. Um, when they step into my energy, they, they start to come into my really strong. Which is why sometimes you'll notice my accent changes to dead posh. It's my guide. Okay. Think about your person. It's great if he doesn't choke me. Can we get into the collective mutual energy? I'm just laughing at me. Right. Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number two. Okay. Let's go. Can you tell me what the current energy is between the people watching and their person? What is the current energy? So again, regardless of situations, this isn't a, circum a situational reading, it's a collective reading. If you want your circumstances doing, just drop me an email. I will be back next week. What is the current energy? And where is the energy heading? What's the future energy of these the people watching and their people? What's the future energy? Thank you. One, two, three. So I've got a song coming through my right ear. We've got um, Dust in the Wind. Na -na, all we are is dust in the wind. Not that I could sing that at all. Uh, I think it's by Kansas. It's a really pretty song. Um, it's kind of like, I can't think of the lyrics completely off by heart because um, I can only hear the chorus coming through this ear, but it's all about you know, um, memories are happening, everything's just feeling like it's just trickled away, that you're feeling quite lost at the moment, you're, you're not really sure how you're meant to be feeling, what is going on, um, what direction you're meant to be taking, and you're all feeling a little bit like you're dust in the wind at the moment, that everything's just kind of being swept away from you, you know, it's blowing away. Um, so the current energy between the two of you is there is a lot of grieving going on at the moment. You know that it's that saying that it's the hardest thing to mourn the loss of someone that is still alive. Um, so there is a grieving happening um, 
with your people. Now your people, um, regardless of your situation, some of you guys watching are third party, your person is with someone else, that's what I mean by third party. And um, those of you that aren't third party, it's like your person is trying to stabilize themselves at the moment and they've said, oh, I need a bit of a break or the energy hasn't been that great between the two of you. Some of you guys have had fights, some of you guys have had arguments, some of you guys, have, the person's just floated away no matter what your situation has been happening there is an element of grieving here and it is to do with your person and um, and you're going to be thinking oh your person's just getting on with their life they feel to be okay they feel like everything is fine and I'm the one sitting here that's gone through all this heartache and all this loss and they actually don't give a shit about me and that's how you guys are kind of feeling at the moment now spirit are saying you might feel as if that is what is happening but please don't try and um try and get your yeah 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 sorry please don't you might feel that that is what is happening but unless you know it to be fact then don't get your head involved okay don't try and add two and two and make 30 yes the behavior hasn't been great yes you are feeling very very sad about the situation but if you sit there and over analyze it and overthink it and start thinking well maybe this has happened and maybe that has happened you don't know any of that to be fact and what you're going to do is you're going to make yourself hurt even more you know um so try if you can not to overthink it try not to over analyze it and just go with the flow of it at this moment in time all right um your person is in this trying to get on with their life at the moment they're trying to move forward trying to focus on themselves whatever their individual circumstances are and again if you are third party it's going to appear that they have gone home to try and work things out or with the person that they are with they've gone to try and work it out um now spirit is saying to you don't suffer fools gladly all right don't put yourself through this pain and this heartache without um you, you know you know your worth you know your worth, you know what you are worth. So don't take it as a reflection on you that their actions have made you feel this way. Don't reflect, don't let it reflect on you. It, they've been idiots, they've been fools, they've hurt you. But that doesn't mean it's a reflection on you. If anything, it's a reflection on them. So just keep that at the back of your mind. Try not to get into that low frequency. Um, because if you get into that low frequency, you're just going to be ending up, you know, law of attraction, attracting more of that low frequency. Um, best thing to do here is raise your vibration up, which if you're feeling very, very low and struggling, you're not going to be able to do easily. So just try and distract yourself try to you know I hate it when people say change your thoughts you can't just change your thoughts like that but what you can do is keep yourself busy and keep yourself occupied it's very very hard for people to think about two things at once so if you are starting to feel very very low go and distract yourself another thing that you can do is um, when we are walking around and you know you've got really bad thoughts and, and you're feeling really low about it all you need to do is look up towards the sky look up Okay, because there's some scientific proof or spirit, there seems to be scientific proof on it, is that when we look up, it's actually really, really hard for us to feel any kind of negative emotions because it just distracts us. It's that distracting energy. So if you're feeling quite low and you're like, I can't break this frequency, just look up and then go do something else. Okay. It will, it will help, it will shift it. So that is where this energy is now. Um, you're both at loggerheads. Some of you have had arguments. There is challenges going on here. Um, you're both a bit like rabbits in headlights. You really are just trying to make head, headway of what's happened. Um, and it feels to be a cyclical energy as well. This has been going on for quite some time. Um, and you really are feeling at the end of your tether at the moment, which is why this grieving is coming forward really strongly. Um, battle of wills you know i said that in the last reading in, in the third party reading there is a battle of wills going on here you're both struggling to to keep your head up so your person is distracting themselves at the moment but it doesn't mean that they aren't thinking about you but they're just trying to carry on with life okay they are sad about it but they're just trying to move forward um and that's where this battle is coming coming across so that's your current energy. Try not to get into that, that low frequency because there is shifts happening over here. I'll show you these two cards at the end. Uh, so we've got the outcome of it is victory. <laughs> so what's going to happen is your person is just going to start taking a sneaky peek at you. Start watching what's going on. Start clocking how you're feeling, what you're actually thinking. They're going to kind of a bit like a, a turtle. They're going to pop their head out and go back into the shell and pop their head out and go back into their shell. And so they're going to just be starting to 
peek, take a sneaky peek on what's happening as time progresses. Your timing for this progression is uh, roughly about three to four months as your collective energy. Uh, for individual timings, just drop me an email. But for your collective timing, about three to four months, your person is going to start being this tortoise and coming out of the shell, checking what's going on and then going back in, retreating, seeing what's going on. Then there's going to be this kind of olive branch that's going to be offered to you. So your person is going to make a choice. They're going to come out of this cave and make a decision towards you. All right. So you're over, at the moment, well, as things progress, you've got this, your person sneaking in. And you've got them coming in and out of the shell. And once they get out of the shell, they're going to stand on top of it. And they're going to start trying to communicate with you about how they're feeling. Now, they will have made a really good choice on it. They'll have spent their time in this little retreat mode that they're going into. Thinking through everything that they want in their life. Thinking what direction they want to go in. And realising that they've made some serious mistakes when it comes to you. Now, a few of you, not all of you, a few of you are going to get an apology from your person. So the where they're going to be when they come out is that they can see that you guys can be celebrating at the top over here but they're going to be focusing on what's been going on over here they're focusing on the stuff that they have got to write the wrongs they have to write uh one two three four five six seven stones over here for the hard work that they, they, get, they need to put in wrong in their rights and the three up here for celebration, which makes it go to ten, eight, nine, ten, yeah, ten altogether. Which means that they'll have gone from trying to work things out over here and where they are at the moment into actually putting these thoughts and feelings into action, coming towards you with some kind of an apology and with the hope that things are going to be moving forward in the right direction. Now, what's drawing me here is that you've got this hand coming up that some of you are going to say, no, you know what, I'm done with it, I've had enough. But this communication is going to come in regardless of if you've had enough or not. They are just going to go with the flow of the situation. We would advise that when they do reach out to you or things start moving in your favour that you too go with the rope with the flow of it. You lot watching are being very strongly guided by spirit and we've got the rainbow bridge over here and those of you that are spiritual will know that the rainbow bridge is classed as a connection to the other side between our world and the next. So to go with the flow of it, keep yourself... Um, balanced with it all is probably the right thing to say you're going to have to take a leap of faith with it if you choose to put your hand up and say no that's completely fine but you will always kind of think well what if I chose to go with it what if I didn't go into self-protect what if I thought you know what let's go with the flow of it um, taking steps towards you and your person is going to go with the flow of it as well which then means there's this victory card over here and you also have the ace of pentacles for a new beginning a more stable beginning now what's drawing me to both the the current energy and the energy where it's going is there is a lot of pentacles involved in your reading for deck number two um so there there is a need for stability like oh i did it again <clears throat> there is a need for stability there is a need for, for security and they are going to work it out come out of their shell and kind of say to you right let's see what we want now some of you will say no you've been an idiot you've took too long i've never felt as low as i've ever felt in my life um but spirit is saying if you've ever watched the film the notebook it's kind of be a bit like that you can think all you want that you're never going to speak to him again and you've had enough. Um, but actually, when you get into that situation, you're going to feel a little bit differently. Another thing that I'm getting just coming through my left ear is I've got Salvador Ganache, uh dive. Tell me, would you die with me? So that's where you're going to go. So you're going to go from dust in the wind, where you are at this current moment, to dive. It's an R&B song. Tell me, would you dive with me? You're going to go with it, take a leap of faith, see where you end up, go with the flow of it, and there's a chance um, that you two of you, whatever you decide, will, will come down to you, but there's a chance the two of you have got a stable beginning here. So they haven't treated you the best, they have been a-holes, they've been idiots really. Um, you know, give them time, let them have this grieving. You know, at the moment you guys are grieving, but the more, moment you start to feel better, how energy kind of works is when you feel better, again, it's that releasing thing. When you feel better um, and starting to feel like the this, this situation is easing, your person is going to start feeling worse. And that's when that movement will come in because they'll realise they can't live without you and they need to take a sneaky peek about what you're up to. So your current energy is sad. It is sad, but don't lose hope don't lose faith you know it's cyclical it will change as the, as the energies change um 
it's not going to be overnight. Again, it's a bit like the seasons. You've got to have hope. Well, you know, every day we get up and we don't know what day, what summer it is, what season it is. But we know that the seasons are going to come. You know, we know that spring is going to come. We know that summer is going to come. We have no doubt in our mind that these seasons are going to happen. We know winter is coming. And winter's here. That sounds a bit Game of thrones -y. But we know winter is coming, you know. Um, and we never doubt that. And it's the same with pregnancy, you know. If you got pregnant, you went out, had a bit of fun and you got pregnant... The, that day, you're not going to expect to have the baby the day after, but you have hope and you have faith and knowledge that it's going to take nine months, roughly, roughly, and then the baby is going to come. And that's the energy we need you to kind of step into is, okay, everything's shit at the moment, we get that, but have a bit of hope and faith and trust the universe that it's going to be shifting in your favour as time progresses. Okay. It, it will move, there will be offers and there's more stable beginnings stepping in, just go with the flow of it, don't fight it, ride, ride the emotions, ride the tide, ride the energy, go with the flow of it, don't fight it, and that's step number two. Okay, so I'm away till Wednesday, this week coming. Um, all information about things, well, I need to update the website, but everything's on the website if you want to find anything else about. That's www.mysticlovetarot.com. Email me for readings and bookings. That's mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Um, if you make any payments, you PayPal are going to acknowledge them. Email me, say that you've done it, um, and I will confirm it on my return as well as your estimated time for your readings to come back to you. We do 50 minutes, half hour, and single questions. We being me and my guides. <coughs> um... What else? What else? I think that's it. Uh, Instagram. I opened up a Facebook account because you guys have been banging on about me. Uh, so go and like Facebook as well if you haven't. It's pretty much the same as Instagram. I was putting everything that I'm putting on Instagram on Facebook. But I know a lot of you haven't got Instagram and you have got Facebook. So go and hit like on that as well. Um, have a really good week. I will speak to you when I get back. Um, I'll go and put some videos of the conference up on Instagram and Facebook so you can see what's going on. You can see all the artists and all the amazing new decks that are coming out um as well as some of the talks i'll, I'll try and put a bit of, uh, what i can on what i'm allowed to put on I will, I will film some videos for you so you can have a look and you can be there with me as well all right guys have a really good week take care of yourself lots of love bye